You know what? Don't try this at home, kids. Hey folks, don't fall out of your chair. The MIA, MI Woodsman, <laughs> easy for me to say. The MIA, MI Woodsman, like my brother Robert, Bluegrass Pushcraft would say. Robert tagged me a week or two ago for this coffee challenge. And uh, it probably will be a challenge for me. It's been a while. <laughs> look, look at the look at the shape of my camera case holy cats has it been a while or what i'm gonna take the air hose to that anyway i'm gonna use my little mountain dew stove penny stove i made years back and i don't know remember how well it worked but uh i guess i'm gonna give it a try just been uh, just been kind of busy, been kind of lazy, and I don't know. Maybe I just needed a break for a while. You know, it gets to you after a while, just too much. Tried to enjoy myself a little bit, and uh, not always have my face in the camera and video recording everything because it seems to seems to absorb a lot of my time when I'm trying to do something. And I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, I was kind of glad to see Robert tag me. The old uh, Ron T. Sawyer sent me a message with a link to the, to the video. And because uh, I didn't know he did. So, here I am, in my total out garage, boy it's definitely in winter mode I'll tell you that, we ain't got no snow, it's uh, oh, 41, So it's kind of like uh, 39, it's kind of like a heat wave. Got 80% chance of rain today. A little bit of snow tomorrow. And Thursday we got a little 100% of mix and then the afternoon snow. But it looks like it's gonna stay in the 30s all week. Other than today, it's supposed to be got up to 41. And it's only supposed to get down to 22, so that's cool. Because uh, about three weeks ago I battled for four and a half days with frozen water. So, when it gets down below 20, 15, 10, it's time to ha turn your faucet on in the house the furthest away uh, from your well. And turn it on, let it trickle all night. And uh, that, that'll do the job, you know. I just forgot about it. I didn't think it was going to get that cold. And sure enough, I woke up and made coffee and no coffee. Because I had no water. This thing is really slow probably put a bigger hole in it. I don't even know how much fuel I need, honestly. This is going to be a long video and I don't even want it to be long. I don't want to drag it out for you folks. But I guess it could have been better prepared. All I got is K cups. I'm by myself, so I only drink a cup or two a day, so it's actually cheaper to go this route. So I'll cut these open. Got my 
Colorado Bushcraft bag I used for my brew, bleh, brew kit. I don't have nothing fancy, Robert, like you got, brother, but I got a coffee press. It's uh, the one of them would not deals, would not coffee press I bought a few years back. Probably longer than that. And uh, yeah. So I'll pour some water in that. Not a lot. I already had a couple cups today, so that's kind of a lot for me. So let me get you down to the down to the action there. Okay, same results. Going to the house. Grabbing a nose toe. All right. Try one of my rope stoves. So I got some different fuel. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. that on there dig out whatever got in my cup there we go there that ought to get her going Them rope stoves never fail me. I got a couple Trangias too, but I just kind of wanted to use something a little more homemade, you know. I bought one uh, years and years ago, then Ron gave me one a couple years ago. And, uh, yeah. Move this camera and I'll give you a little rundown. All right. This is my winter garage. Oh, there's the Danger Ranger 2.0, 2011. I don't know if you've uh, seen it yet or not. Nice little truck. Uh, decent miles. Real dependable. Runs like a top. Bought it for my buddy that I help work on the mega trucks all the time. And then. Over here, uh, just stuff thrown around. My generator, my snow blower. I didn't even use that yet this year. I got a couple 91 Yukon dry shafts for sale, front and rear, if anybody's interested. Uh, some wheels, ramps, uh, my golf cart. I had to take the roof off it and set it on top of my camper because it wouldn't fit through the garage on the trailer. And there's no room for the ramps. Um, this is my updated version of my camper, which you probably can't see much of it. But I used two by tens, and uh, Brian moved my camper back, walled it, and bolted it on. So now I got this much room. I can haul my golf cart, and I don't have to make two trips when I go to mud bogs or whatever it might be. I was trying to paint it this year, but I, this winter, but I don't know. Uh, the stars line up. I guess I might. But it's not in bad shape, it's a beautiful shape. It runs like a top. I had the engine totally gone through. I mean, tore right down to nothing and all new gaskets and everything put in it. And yeah, it's, it runs good. And then the rest of my junk, you know, that I haven't seen or used and I couldn't tell you when. And I don't really have an excuse, I don't think. But my little lifesaver heater, oh yeah. But let's see how the water's doing. Starting to. Almost hot enough for me for coffee.
All right, I'm gonna throw you back on the mount. All right, she's steaming, so that's good enough for me. Um, move this out of the way. Let that burn out, I guess. I don't have nothing metal really handy that I could use to snuff that bugger out with right off hand. You know what though, this might work. Ha! Go figure. Alright. Let me get this thing going. I got one light. One light on my camera, folks, so let's hope uh let's hope I got enough. Let's hope. Actually, I think one will be enough. How am I doing, Robert? I'm a rookie again, brother. I am a rookie. Now I just gotta have a vessel to pour that into. Alright, call me a vessel. Boy, it's not too looks pretty weak to me. It does, it does. But coffee's coffee, right? Let me get you moved around here. Sorry, but I'm back to my amateur camera moves there. There you go, Robert. You know, ain't never had a really a bad cup of coffee, other than maybe truck stop. But anyway, folks, cheers. Robert, thanks for the tag, brother. Um, I think I'm gonna tag Chris at Chris Variety Channel. Not sure if he's done one yet or not. But anyway, I'm almost out of battery, so everybody take care. God bless. I will be back. I'm not going to make this MIA thing a, a habit, so got more things to come, some tool reviews and this and that. So, all right, folks, take care and God bless.